What if I told you that a four inch slab is stronger than a six inch slab? So I have read online multiple discussions about people trying to figure out what size or what thickness of slab they need for their foundation. Uh, it usually goes something like this. I'm gonna have my barn aluminum built and my concrete contractor suggested a four inch slab and somebody will chime in and say, no, 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 that's crazy, you need six inch slab. Or uh, the other thing they may ask is like, hey, uh, my, I'm getting a four inch slab for my building and it's gonna cost X amount. And somebody will say, well, that's crazy. Four inch slabs shouldn't cost that much. The problem is not all four inch slabs are created equal. What if I told you that a four inch slab is stronger than a six inch slab? So we're gonna do a quick and dirty demonstration and hopefully I'll be able to prove to you that four inch, six inch, none of that matters without knowing a lot more details about that foundation, okay? So take a four inch slab. So let's, uh, let's do this. I'm gonna take, this is three quarter inch plywood, five feet long, and this is gonna be our four inch slab. You can have a four inch slab on grade, simply reinforced with fiber. That's one. Number two, you can have a four inch slab on grade, reinforced with mesh wire. Now, here's another variable. Mesh wire comes in six gauge and 10 gauge. So <laughs> just cause you say mesh wire, I would ask you, well, which one? The thick one or the thin one, right? So now we, that's mesh wire. Now you step up from mesh wire, you get into rebar. So, you know, it's like, hey, well, it's, it's, it's a rebar reinforced four inch slab. Okay, what size rebar? Well, number three or three eighths. Uh, by the way, rebar is categorized in numbers. Number three, number four, number five. And what that means is the, the number of eights in that rebar. So if it's three eighths rebar, it's number three. Number four rebar is half inch. Uh, eight, number eight is one inch, so so on and so forth. Okay, well, I have three eighths rebar. Okay, well, what spacing, right? Because you can have three eighths rebar, but if you don't specify the spacing, that's another, that's another variable, right? So, so, well, I have mine at 12 inches on center each way, or I have mine, you know, that's how you create your grid, or I have mine at 16 inches on center, so on and so forth, right? So now that's, that's your four inch slab. Now, is a six inch slab better? Well, it can be if they are built exactly the same. However, this is what I'm talking about. You need to really specify, or at least have your contractor specify what it is or how it is that they're building your four inch slab. Another thing, you know, the next step up, of course, all those that I have described so far are good for driveways, okay? Flat work, sidewalks, okay? So that's, that's, that would be sufficient for that, okay? However, for a foundation, it is not, in my opinion, enough, unless it is a pole barn, uh, which all the load is being carried by the poles, and then you pour the concrete afterwards, or you know, the slab, then yes, it, uh, I believe a four inch uh, rebar reinforced slab may be enough. However, one more variable. It depends on the type of soil that you have. So a lot of variables. So, so I'm hoping you're starting to understand that simply saying is six inches better than four or four inches better than six or uh, is four inch enough. You, there's so many more variables that you take, need to take into account. Another variable, how much slope do you have on your land? Okay, if it's perfectly flat, it's gonna take a lot less soil and preparation to bring it up to level than if you're on a four foot slope. Okay, so all those things come to effect. Now, are you on clay? Are you on rock? Are you on sand? As you can see, tons of variables. Now, so we have our four inch slab right here, right? Is that enough for a, let's just call it a uh, conventional home, conventional barn aluminum? No, it is not enough. Why? it doesn't have any support, load bearing beams. So let's say you're gonna compare a four inch slab versus a six inch. Which one is stronger? Well, again, four inch slab, when they say four inch slab, that's just the surface. That's what they're talking about. So it's sitting like this, right? And then this is what you're walking on. This is all you see, four inch slab, right? Is that enough? Well, it depends how it's built. Is six inches better? It depends how it's built. 
If you have a six inch slab, fiber reinforced on grade versus a rebar reinforced four inch slab with perimeter and interior beams, then the four inch is way stronger. The thickness of the surface, even though it matters, there's a lot more that you need to know. Now, we're gonna do a quick demonstration and I'm gonna show you why a four inch slab can be a lot stronger than a six inch or even an eight inch depending on how it's built. So we set up a quick demonstration right here. So right now, this is a four inch slab on grade, okay? And I'm gonna walk the plank, all right? We're gonna see what this thing's gonna do. Now I'm gonna get a tape measure. By the way, we are bringing this video to you from Daniel's cabinet shop. Ah, I almost walked across this. All right, so this thing is, here I'll show it, six inches off the ground, okay? So I'm gonna walk this, and we're gonna see how much deflection we get. So I'm gonna come in about a foot in. Look how much deflection we have already, and I'm not even putting my full weight on it. Now you can see where this is going, okay? I'm right in the middle. There it went, or four inch slab cracked. So we got, it held up pretty good there for a while. Uh, we're getting about a good four inches of the, uh, deflection before it broke. That's a four inch slab, okay? Now. This is also a four inch slab. Same three quarter inch plywood, same width, same length. Except now we have support beams. This is exactly the same principle that you have, the reason you have support beams on your slab, okay? So again, this is a four inch slab and we're gonna test it. So this one is nine and a half, 10 inches off the ground. Okay, and we're going to measure deflection. Okay, there I am. I can't read the tape. What's the deflection right there, Daniel? None, it's still 10 inches. So pretty much no deflection whatsoever. Again, this is the exact same thickness plywood. They were actually both cut from the same sheet. The only difference is one has support beams, the other one doesn't. So, I hope this small demonstration is enough to show you that four inch slabs are not bad, okay? They are actually the most widely used thickness of slab in uh, residential construction. However, it matters a lot how you build it, okay? Again, this was a just quick and easy demonstration, but I hope it shines enough light in the point that I've been trying to make in all those uh, Facebook uh, groups and, and such where I tell people, it's not enough information. Four inch lab, saying that you have a, a four inch lab, it is not enough information. Uh, two guys can build them totally different. One guy can be quoting this four inch lab and another guy can be quoting this four inch lab, okay? So you need a lot more information than simply the thickness of the slab, okay? Well, I hope that helps you uh, make a decision and I hope that shed some education on, on, on concrete slabs, okay? Now, you can get into 3,000 PSI, 3,500 PSI. We'll get into that in, uh, in another video, but I'll tell you that right now. You do not want anything less than 3,000 PSI. However, for you to not have to worry about any of this, that way you can sleep at night and know that you're getting the correct foundation for your home. Get some soil testing done and have your slab engineered. That is going to eliminate any potential uh, miscommunication or uh, comparing apples to oranges whenever you're comparing two different contractors. If you have a set of plans, engineer for your foundation, you can send the same plans to two different contractors and say how much
for my slab. They will bid exactly what's on the prints. I hope that helps and uh, we'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnuminiums.